Hello, this is my latest bunch of footsore Vikings. I say latest, actually I finished doing them, finished the basing on them uh, at least a month, maybe six weeks ago. And um, didn't get around to doing a video of them. And in the meantime, I've been working on a completely new project. Um, a little bit of a departure, not much, but um, quite a major commitment. And uh, I'll be looking at that on a separate video. These uh, are to add to the ones that I've already done. Obviously, this group of um, footsore Vikings that are to me going to be a separate war, war band um, just for skirmishing really um, separate from the other makes the other um, manufacturers Vikings that I've got that I've painted in the past that are uh, way back there among the first that I'd painted when I took the hobby back up I don't know five or so years ago I think now um, and uh, just because they're so much better, both painting-wise and as figures to me, than um, most of most of those. So um, anyway, these these guys here, these six could be put among the rest. They are a mix of uh, Bondi and um, obviously a a banner man there. And uh, a cloaked individual. All the shield designs, again, I've painted myself, by the way. I just felt like doing that on these. Um, on the, this footsore band. The light's a bit yellow. I shouldn't have had my overhead indoor lighting on, but never mind. Um, this is a nice figure, obviously a high up, obviously quite wealthy, double handed axe, Dane axe, cloaked, uh, being quite nonchalant, and uh, yeah, so um, I enjoy painting these, they're beautiful footsore figures as usual and um, there's not a lot to say about them really uh, towards the end of them I got very excited about something else which is the new project which um, as I say I'll talk about in another thing so um, they lost a bit of impetus and I had to sort of uh, make myself finish them but um, I'm pleased with how they look as a whole group now I've got these to paint yet um, that I've prepared um, primed and done a black wash over I've also painted the bases of basic mid green this mid green goes really well with the battlefield cloth that I use um, because it's a mid-tone exactly really for the um, for the cloth which is quite complex and quite a range of colors as you can see it's got yellows and deep greens and blacks and browns um, even orangey tones all sorts of things in it uh, I like it very much but it's good to find um, it's a sort of an olivey green really that is a perfect mid-tone um, to look at the colours of the figures as you paint them against. Uh, I did a video about that earlier on, actually, somewhere back there. Um, and I've only just really found, though, that this colour is, is, is one of the Baleo colours. I can't remember what they call it. It's a complete, something completely wrong, actually, for what it is. But... Um, if you look at your battlefield colours and you can sort of choose a 
mid-tone, even if it's a complicated um, background. It does help a lot. It, 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 it does mean that uh, you're painting more correctly and um, I like just to have it really there in place very early on. So anyway, this is a really nice bunch of figures, even nice. They're, they're all Herdman, except for the, the figure right in the middle there is is uh, slightly isolated, is Redwald, um, the early English king who may well have been the king who was buried at Sutton Who We can't say for certain. Um, and Redwald, that's a, that's another footsore figure. It's a slightly different stylistically, I must say. I've given him a sword under his arm and his shield, which I, I'm not going to show here at the moment. I've also done some elaboration to so that it's more like the shield that's in the British Museum or the reconstructed shield, I should say. It's got the same elements on it that survived. Um, and um, anyway, I'm looking forward to painting these because they are particularly nice, very rich group, and they um, rich in both senses. They're, they're obviously more well to do than most of the figures that I've already painted in the back war band. There's is a, is a, is a sorcerer on the left. I've given him a an extra load of um, black wash uh, to help him on his way because he's obviously a sort of pretty dirty individual. Um, he's got dead heads and uh he looks he looks a bit um crusty but anyway um so that's that's what i intend to go to onto when the new project allows which um at the moment it, it won't i'm i'm into the, sort of the second major part of it and um so vikings have to be set aside and i'm going to show the video on that project very soon Anyway, uh, please like and subscribe if you will. Thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.